All right, now we're going to discuss what I consider one of the most important concepts in biomechanics, and that is torque, um, also known as moment of force. All right, so here's a quiz based on your reading. What is the equation of torque? And remember, torque is a rotational force. So force is probably in the equation. Um, usually things rotate about an axis, and usually say you're going to Put open a door, you don't open the door near the hinges, you open the door at a distance away from the hinges. So torque is a force times what we call a moment arm. And a moment arm has a very specific definition. It is the perpendicular distance between the center of rotation and the line of action of force. All right, so, oh, I just kind of went ahead of myself. So the moment arm is the blank distance from the line of action of force to the center of rotation. And it is three, the perpendicular distance. And that is key. So when we get into muscle torque or internal torque, um, it is not the distance from the joint to the um, attachment point, it is the perpendicular distance. And that means that the moment arm is not an anatomical structure or an anatomical distance. It actually moves as we go through ranges of motion. All right, so here we have an axis, some sort of center point. Here's a lever, and we apply a force. If the force is the same in all three conditions, A, B, and C, um, but the moment arm increases, what happens to the torque? Well, there's an increase in torque because when you increase the moment arm um, and the force is constant, then you increase the torque. And, and this is good to just highlight that the units of torque are newton, which is units of force, and moment arm, which is a distance, so that's in meter. So torque is a newton meter. All right, so this is um, holding moment arm constant in our equation. If the moment arm is constant, but the force increases, the torque also increases. All right, and then let's just um, review names for torque because there people use different um, terminology and you kind of have to know what, what other colleagues are talking about. So, for external torque, um, say if I'm doing a bicep curl, the external torque would be due to the um, weight that I'm lifting. That is also called the gravitational torque because gravity is acting on that, that weight. And it's also called the resistance torque. It is what is resisting my motion. The, the opposite torque would be for external torque, we talk about internal torque. So if I, again, if I'm lifting a weight, Internally, there, there is a torque that's, sorry, that is um, opposing my external torque, All right? So internal and external torque. So externally, I have this the weight that I'm trying to lift. Internally, I create a torque. Typically, I create that torque through muscles. So gravitational torque um, opposes muscular torque. And then if we talk about resistance torque, then you're also talking about effort torque or motive torque. All right, depending on what your slant is, people use different terminologies. I tend to use internal and external or sometimes muscular and gravitational. So let's look at the internal torque. Um, the internal torque is due to the muscle force, so the line of action of force from its attachment point. And it is a perpendicular distance from the center of rotation, in this case it's the elbow joint, to the line of action of force. And that creates a rotational force or a torque, which causes, in this case, flexion of the biceps brachia, or of the elbow joint. So the force is muscle force, and the moment arm, again, is the perpendicular distance. And we'll pick up um, in version two of this or a second part of this video.